just west of Alexandria, down this quiet country lane, set high on a hill overlooking beautiful Lake Mina, is the home of Larry Ziliax. Larry has been my county extension agent for many years and recently took on the role of hosting another TV show, Prairie Yard and Garden. He also operates this bed and breakfast, appropriately named Country Gardens. Larry, how did you get into this venture? The design of the house started in a restaurant on a napkin and the concept of uh, B&B came a little bit later as we were doing some planning and uh, planting the seed in a uh, friend's uh, spouse's mind and uh, we got talking back and forth with my wife and all of a sudden it was a great idea and so then we started incorporating the B&B &B concept into, into the house. What was your intention with the unique house design? Um, our concept was that um, the front side of the house would uh, look like open arms, welcoming, so it's a U-shaped. And then on the back side, it turned out that um, the back shape of the U, every direction you looked was looking at a different body of water. So this became just an ideal setting for uh, the bed and breakfast. And then, of course, we put in the water gardens to uh, enhance the lake effect. We only have two rooms, and each room uh, has its own character. One uh, overlooks Lake Mena. You get this wonderful vista laying in bed, looking out over the lake, because the house itself sits about 100 feet above the, the water. Um, the other room is a little more spacious, but it has um, views of bluebird homes. And in the sp spring, early summer, uh, they're nesting there, and you can sit in the window and view the bluebirds coming and going as they're feeding their fledgings and so forth. So uh, from that point of view, it's uh, just an ideal um, setting. The commons area is fairly large and, and got a fireplace in it. Um, and I, I serve breakfast at that level also. So when the guests are finished eating, we usually sit down with them and, and talk about uh, areas here. They're, what they're going to go view and give them a little background history on the, the Alexandria area. Uh, many people consider a unique feature of my home is an elevator. Stairs are very dangerous for seniors and so I decided that I would not put a, any stairs into this house. Um, and There are no steps and so we put in an elevator and it worked out just perfectly. I prepare the food up in the kitchen and uh, bring it down the elevator and serve it down below where they can view uh, the lake and enjoy their bed breakfast accommodations. Each room um, has its own hot tub and its own uh, bathroom facilities which is amenities that people request nowadays and so um, I think people are very pleased when they stay here. I think one of the most appealing aspects of your bed and breakfast has to be all the beautiful gardens surrounding it. Working in horticulture, I've always had an interest in uh, plants, and, and so that was the easy part. And my wife would say, well, gee, we should have a little garden over here, and I gladly would uh, make another um, bed. Unfortunately, when she passed away, that meant I now had to take care of them. So I believe I've got close to 25 individual gardens um, that we named at one time based on uh, early rock and roll song titles. And so you got strawberry fields and blowing in the wind, uh, an area that's a little more windy, and a bridge over uh, troubled waters here would be another example. And we created little in many environments around each one of those particular gardens. And it does take some time, um, but it's not overwhelming. Basically, once you get the weeds under control, uh, walking around um, for a couple hours twice a week seems to keep most of them under control. The waterfalls and stream provide a peaceful, relaxed setting to rest and enjoy the view. But what happens to the fish during the winter months? 
this particular home is heated with geothermal, so water comes out of my well, goes through a heat pump, and then gets dumped. So I created a water feature utilizing that water, and it comes into this pond, and then I built the stream and created the second pond below that has three separate waterfalls. So when you sit in that particular uh, gazebo, depending upon how you angle the chairs, you get a little different sound because each uh, waterfall has its own unique characteristics. Um, we keep fishing both of the ponds and because of the geothermal heating of the home in the winter time, as it gets colder, of course, it uh, pumps more water through the system and these ponds never do freeze, so I do not have to take the koi or the um, other fish out of the ponds, they can live in there all winter. I see you have mown paths through the meadow below us. Is there more for your visitors to see? Well, one of the unique things about this piece of property is I created a hiking trail. It's uh, half a mile. If we do the first part, then it will uh, be a full mile if you go all the way around the property. And what's enjoyable about it is there's an old ice ridge on this lake it comes up about 10 feet above the cattails. And so as you're walking through this serene area, you will uh, be above the cattails and look out over the lake, very peaceful sea. And once in a while, you'll find some wild game down on the trail. Uh, we have deer, we have turkeys uh, that are quite common. Periodically, uh, if you look up, you might see a bald eagle or an osprey flying over the lake and so People have just thoroughly enjoyed the uh, opportunity to do some hiking. Beautiful gardens, a peaceful outdoor setting, an incredible view, especially if you like sunsets, great bird watching, an exhilarating hiking trail, comfortable accommodations with all the modern conveniences, close proximity to Alexandria, and a gracious host who happens to be a master gardener. Next time you visit Lakes Country, why not indulge yourself with a stay at Country Gardens Bed and Breakfast?